So as canola has been emerging recently, there's also been uh, some flea beetle pressure in certain hot spots and we've definitely heard reports of some guys spraying around the province. Um, but we just wanted to do this short video to kind of go over some of the factors that you, could, you should consider before you spray to make sure that you're making the most economic um, and sustainable decision on your farm. So in this video, we'll run through nine different guidelines that the Canola Council has published in order to help producers uh, determine when they should be spraying their canola crops for flea beetle pressure. So the first thing to consider before you spray is the economic threshold and the action threshold. So typically, um, it's recommended to start spraying if your leaf damage reaches 25%. So you do want to wait and just look for that 25%. And we're going to insert a picture here so that you have a guideline of, as to what 25% looks like. So if you're scouting in cool or windy conditions, you want to be sure that you're checking on the undersides of the leaves, on the stems of the canola plants, and also down in the trash because the beetles will tend to shelter there when it gets windier or cooler. It's also important to take note of the stem feeding that you have because if they're girdling the stem, uh, just a few bites there can kill the whole plant. So it can be a lot more detrimental than just some feeding on the leaves. So you want to take that into account when determining your 25% damage threshold. So the third thing to consider is the flea beetle numbers. So um, you want to see, are the number, numbers increasing or dwindling? And that will depend on their life cycle. And it, the environment can also play a big factor in their numbers. So on rainy days, which we hope we're getting soon here, um, the flea beetles will actually take cover in the soil, so you won't see them as much on the plants. And as Logan mentioned, the wind can also be a big factor. It's also important to be scouting the new leaves and the new growth. So even if your cotyledons are looking pretty haggard, if that new leaf's coming out and there's not a lot of damage on it, you're probably good to go. And another thing to look at is your new growth. So even though this one does have a lot of feeding, um, it, you can tell it's old because it's already brown and necrotic, and this new leaf has no feeding on it. So you always want to look at your new growth, and if your first true leaves are starting to have a lot of feeding, that can be detrimental to your yield, and that will influence your spray decision differently. So you also want to consider what is your plant stand. So you can watch our weekly video as to how to assess what your plant stand is in canola, and if you have um, a plant stand on the lower end of things, you can't afford to lose any more plants. But if you do have in the upper range, if you have 9 to 10 plants per square foot, um, that does give you a little bit more leeway. In if you lose a few, you still won't have yield loss that way. So you also want to be getting a representative sample of the entire field. So make sure to t check multiple locations throughout the field and check at least 20 seedlings at each location to give you a good idea of what your average damage is across the whole field. You also want to uh, keep in mind that it's likely that these flea beetles are going to be moving in from grass um, in the ditches or in fence lines and trees so the damage is likely going to start on the headlands along the headlands so you might see more damage in those areas or adjacent to canola stubble from the previous year. When you're scouting for flea beetles, if you had all your plants looking like this, you might start to be concerned. But it's important to take an average of the whole field. So, as you can see, there's much less feeding on these other plants around it. And on average, most of them look like what these bigger plants look like. So it's important to look at what your plant staging is. Um, once you get to a four leaf plant, that plant has enough leaf material that even if it has some defoliation, you won't have yield loss. So um, this time of the year when we're at a cotyledon to one leaf stage, our plants are a lot more susceptible. So you want to be in your fields regularly to determine what your um, feeding and beetles are at. Um, another tip is just to check the fields frequently. Um, nobody likes reseeding, so we want to be out there frequently when they're young and small and susceptible and make sure that we get these plants to the proper size when they can outgrow the flea beetle pressure. In the event that you've determined that you do have to spray, 
just make sure that you're using an insecticide that is registered for use on canola and it's on the label for flea beetles. So if you do have to go out and spray after listening to these tips, um, just make sure that you contact us first because part of your insecticidal cost will be covered through the seed treatment company and we will be able to do um, a product concern. And just remember that your um, the beetles, first of all, have to feed and ingest that for it to kill them. So a little bit of feeding is okay, just monitor how much it is. That's it folks, we're hoping that we're going to get rained out here so we're going to head home before we're stuck in the field and getting wet.